Oh, there we go. It is a green key. I thought it was a blue because of the light. That is really, really good. Okay, so let's go. Welcome back to more 7 Days to Die with Darkness Force. Today is gonna be very exciting. You can see a couple of days have passed since we last recorded. I was working on my house to make it look more Viking-ish and I think I found a solution, but that's not what this is about today. I was working on my house. I was grinding for some resources, found a little bit of lead. I was digging down. Some rando zombie popped down into the ground. I killed him as I kept mining and we found a missing piece to our hazmat suit. Now, if you have been following along, you know we have been missing two pieces. Now, I found one. I found the chest piece. I'm going to show you that in a second. And it w I posted the picture actually on Twitter because I wasn't recording. And I was like, oh, my God, this is unbelievable. This is actually exactly what we needed. And you know yourselves, when we find things offline, it's always a bit sus. But anyway, we found the jacket. And now we can use the rest of the hazmat uh, resources that we have, the fiber, the hazmat fiber or whatever it's called, to make a mod for the other piece that we're missing. And hopefully we get 100% radiation. That also means we can go into the bunker today. And that is what I'm really, really excited about. It's not the final bunker. It's the first bunker that Eve, the quest, the reward, actually allows us to go to. Now, if you know Darkness Falls, but you haven't been following the series, and you think, hey, it's day 45. Why haven't you been at the bunker yet? Yes. Usually you would be at the bunker way before then and you wouldn't need a hazmat suit. But it turns out that my bunker location is so close to the radiation zone, you actually need a radiation suit. Otherwise, you cannot go into the EVE bunker. So it's a little bit of an issue on the map that I'm playing on. So if you want to play yourself, DF small one, you might find that one of the bunkers you're getting from the from the quest is a little bit close to the radiation zone. So but either way, today we finally have the hazmat suits, which we usually wouldn't need to get into that bunker. So I'm really excited for that. Now, the problem with wearing hazmat suit pieces is you're gonna lose all your armor. They only have cold and heat resist and that's it. So if you actually look at your statistics, we have currently 30 armor rating, we have 24 crit resistance. Well, that is gonna be non-existent. There you go, no armor, no crit resistance, nothing. Now, of course, the benefit of um, not using radiation suit pieces, but crafting mods to prevent radiation, which is basically what I'm gonna do with the last missing piece. We're gonna craft radiation ready, a radiation ready mod. And that's what we need the hazmat fiber for. So basically so far we have found a lot of duplicate pieces. We scrap them, we get three hazmat fibers from each scrap. And um, that allows us then to collect the 12 that we had so far. And I was collecting another 12 and then luckily I found the chest. So we're gonna make one more piece. We're gonna put that into boots. So we're going to take with us the actual boots with the armor, there we go. And this is what we will be wearing when we go. So we have a little bit of armor rating and a little bit of crit resistance. And we're going to put the last piece of rod resistance in there to get the 100%. Now, to craft the mod, we're going to need 15 generic schematics, hazmat fiber, which I have, and duct tape. We have a lot of duct tape. So we only need six. There we go. And we need 15. Oh, before I forget it, we will need these cards. Now, I don't know if we need the blue ones necessarily to get into the bunker, but blue and green cards is something that you will need to open the bunker doors, at least the green. It could be that the main door is blue. I have no idea. So whatever color you need, make sure the green and blue ones that you have at least one of each to get into the initial part of the bunker. And then you should get more cards once you're in it from the lab assistants and all that that are usually in those bunkers. So let's get those 15 notes there we go they're generic schematics that drop quite frequently everywhere so i wouldn't worry too much about being short on them and now we should be able to craft this where do we craft this exactly in the sewing kit tailoring bench there we go in the sewing kit yes that's where we craft it and now we have to make the right one let's do it and here we go bam done let's get it out and let's see if we can put it into the shoe modify we can put it in and it even increased the light armor rating a little bit, which is really, really good. And now let's put this on. And do we get the last one, uh, last 20% of protection? Yes, we are now 100% radiation protected. That is amazing. I took a smoothie. I took a vegetable stew. Um, we have our buffs running. I took a pill, so we should be absolutely high on wellness. Very good resistance to thirst and hunger. So we're going to take the scenic route. We're going to go through the actual towns. It just means that we uncover a lot more towns as well along the way, which is going to be really good. So anyway, this is really exciting. We're going to go into the bunker today. I can't wait. I oh, love it. Oh, look at that. Very delicious. Let's see what we have in it. 
Okay. Oh, nice. That is really, really sexy. Loving it. Whoa. What is going on here? This looks sick. We have helicopters there. We have tanks here. Bulldozers. More tanks. Oh, and another helicopter. This is absolutely insane looking. This must have been the last stand of like, I, like this has to be some absolutely unique, meaningful POI. Look at this, we found another trader and it's not one of the, it's not one of the traders we actually have to go to for any of our trader quests, which are not too far away, I think. I think we have one somewhere over here. Yeah, there, opening trade routes. We might actually just do that to unlock this trader before we go to the bunker. I think that would be a good idea, but look at all the buildings I already found. Um, with the art gallery, definitely have to check that out. Amazing, the snake hotel and the wink wonk bank. That is all some very interesting ones. And then of course the shotgun factory. These are all things that we could do in one episode, like, you know, each. And then we have a monster farm and the drugs and gun store as well. Let's have a look. Oh, oh look at you, you. that is amazing. We're going to check out what you have in there. There we go, nice one. What do we have? Oh, that is sweet. We definitely should repair that so we can get the most out of it. Yeah, this one we can sell as well. And yeah, we're definitely gonna sell that as well and everything else. I just had to go and get my money because there's a few things that I've seen that I want to get. First of all, 7.62 ammo because I, we're going to a bunker. We need a lot of ammunition, absolutely. These guys, I wanna buy them so we can scrap them and more 7.6 uh, ammo. There we go, beautiful. And he has also a couple of more recipes here. Oh, look at that, the dart trap schematic. We can learn that. I completely forgot to check for food. And he does indeed, oh, red tea, that's very nice. They have also wellness, which is very good. Does he have any? No, he doesn't. He doesn't have any smoothies, but he has three more of those, which is very good. So what we can do is we can drink the smoothie now, and then we can use the red tea for the effect as well, which is very nice. So there we go. We have one of those. Eat oh, that now. Drink this I'm... now. Well, maybe you Beautiful. Should <laughs> Well, here's gonna be another building we're gonna cover throughout one episode, or maybe two. It's ginormous, the Persian mansion. Holy balls on a cracker. This is a huge building. <laughs> Let's have a look at it. Um, save waypoint, definitely want to save it. Persian mansion. There we go. Oh man, Persian Mansion. Who comes up with these? I think they're part of a combo pack, or it's called the combo pack mod, which um, this map is using in Darkness Falls. Um, I don't think all the maps are using these. Um, DF Small 1 is what I'm playing on, and that definitely has it. Oh, hello, okay. Oh, that's a snake. I hate snakes. Where is it? Where is it? Especially because you can't see them. There she is, I can, I can see her now. There we go, gotcha. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Big mama in the house, put you down. Okay, what do you have? Um, yeah, sure, I'm gonna scrap that. I'm gonna have to be a little bit more picky because God knows how much loot we're going to get, except for this, we're gonna take this. Um, God knows how much loot we're gonna get. I'm not gonna keep any um, die or anything that takes up one space for one item as much. Look at this, the size of this is just ginormous. <laughs> You even can feel the lag already getting close to it. It's like his own little town there, like with all the lights and everything. Is that bananas? I might as well take actually some of them because the desert, bananas and... Um, what is the other one? Bananas and coconut is what we have in here. So I already have the coconut here. Oh, whoops. What, 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 what? There we go. Nice. All right, let's go. And here we are, look at this, we found the other trader. What is that? Oh no, that's not the trader, it's this one here. This is the trader we got um, the quest for um, when we unlock the next tier. So this is one of those tier unlocked traders. So let's have a look. Get that quest done. Good morning to my oh, it's Jen, nice. There we go, beautiful. I think I'm gonna buy all the recipes and uh, for the skill notes, and that's pretty much it. Oh, look at that, we might use that, XP gain. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get my money. We're gonna buy the these guys here, and the recipes, and we're gonna buy Grandpa's Learning Elixir. 
Uh, before we buy anything, let's see what we have in these wall safes. Okay, we can scrap that. Oh, look at that. A Winchester rifle. We repair that and then we're going to sell it. Oh, ammunition. Nice. Loving it. Yeah, we need a lot of ammunition for the bunker. Um, yeah, sure. We're going to sell that as well. Um, scrap, scrap, scrap. Keep, sell. Very nice. And what do we have here? Just keep that. Oh, this is so beautiful. We're going to have so much ammunition here that is just absolutely sexified. Nice. All right, let's sell everything we have definitely sell the gun very sweet and we have some extra spare money so let's buy those recipes that way we get some extra skill notes oh yeah let's buy these guys here this one i don't think we need because we're going to be using mainly guns in the bunker so and that's it and then we're going to buy these as well all right i just got mobbed i basically just got here i was just about to get ready to test out how the radiation works and boom these guys just absolutely jumped me bear cops everything so i think they just spawned in just to say hi you know to create us to prepare us for what's gonna happen but let's have a look through the bags there we go um ooh, i know pink dye but still we're not gonna we're not gonna fill up in our inventory so let's have a look here what we're gonna do is first of all Yes, we're going to double loot this bunker. There's absolutely no question about it. We're going to double loot it. There's a traitor. Is that the sound of a traitor? It is. Oh, I thought the bunker was here. Um, we're going to have to check that out. But uh, we're definitely going to double loot it. But now let's have a quick test and see about the radiation. Because this is where the radiation zone is, you see. And this is where the entrance is. Let's take off one piece. 20%. I don't know if it shows up as radiated right here now, this very second. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. We actually can see it now. We are radiated. And now it should stop because we have 100% coverage. Um, I hope it's going to stop. Okay, it's not stopping. Is it going to stop? I think it stopped. Okay, so there you go. This is what I was talking about. This is so close to the actual radiation zone that you can't get into it because if you actually step on top of it, you can see it's right in the radiation zone. That's where the entrance is. Yes, there is a trader. Absolutely fantastical. So we're gonna check, gotta stay with the trader first. And we're gonna put a bed here just in case something happens because this. This trader should be safe for um, us to stay in. Look at that. We have a guard captain as well where we can buy all our healing stuff. This is amazing. So uh, let's actually see. Did we have a... Oh, we had a broken arm. Is it gone? Okay, fair enough. It's gone. The radiation must have cured it. It cures all the bones. And where's the main trader here? Who do we have? Trader Caitlin. All right. Let's see what you have in your... In oh, wow. Okay, she's definitely a builder. These guys are really loud, so I'm gonna have a look through here. I don't think there's any more I want to actually buy, except maybe bullets, but at least we have a place very close so that in case we die, we can just jump right back in. All right, the bed is at the trader. I did a little bit of shopping. I got some elixirs. I have my food buffs, my drink buffs. I'm ready to go. We're fully stocked and looking loaded. I'm not triggering the quest yet. We don't... Oh, turn those goggles on, baby. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And it's a blue door. So let's unlock it. No, we can't. Oh, look at them. Look at them. They're ready to rock and roll. Now we have to look. These bags that, that you see, that's where they're spawning from. So we're going to have to destroy them as quickly as possible. Blue card right here. Oh, I clicked on it. That doesn't work. Oh, there we go. It is a green key. I thought it was a blue because of the light. That is really, really good. Okay, so let's go. Let's make sure we try to destroy that bag. There we go, it's gone. So that means the spawner is gone. We can close the door. We can reload. Very good. Whew, we've been tactical here. Okay, let's see. Brilliant. This spawner is gone. Okay, let's loot. Oh, nice. Look at that. And we got the hazmat boots as well. 
which is very good. We're gonna destroy all the hazmat suits that we get. You can see if this would have not been in the radiation area, this bunker, we would already have been able to go in here. So if you're playing this game for yourself and you're new to Darkness Falls, don't worry usually about hazmats unless you're playing DF small one as well and get the get the area the same as I. But otherwise, you should be able to just get into these bunkers and start going in with your normal armor as long as you have green key cards, which you actually get quite early on. So I'm not gonna keep the die. I'm just gonna scrap all these guys so we can get um, those started, and that way we can craft more mods so we can get rid finally of our um, hazmat suit armor and instead use um, the mods. And before we start looting everything, let's go through here and clear out everything else. Okay, there's no spawner in here. Where did you come from? Okay, hang on, there's a spot. Oh, the window, the glass. There we go. That was the spawner. I constantly forget about this window here. We're gonna open everything in due time. Let's just make sure we reload it. And let's keep that machine gun reloaded as well. Okay, there's one more spawner in here. In that door. Need another green key card. Okay, this one here, let's um, get the green key card in. There we go. Let's make sure we're gonna get the, the back. I think we got the back. There we go, come on. There we go, we got the bag. Beautiful. Okay, I think that's it. No more spawners in here. We nearly destroyed the working tool stiffy loot box. Excellent, okay, I think we're gonna get some visitors from above. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, these guys are normal zombies. We should be able to just deal with them. Ow! No. Not a screamer. Are you kidding me? Okay, there is a screamer here somewhere, but I don't think she has seen me yet. Let's just ignore her for now. Mm. All right, we healed up. Let's take one more heal. There we go. We had a drink, and we have the food buff, so we're doing okay. So these desks here, we can actually disassemble them and get uh, some really good resources from them, but let's do that in a second. Let's see first what we have here in this box. Okay, this is just a wall oven, not all that interesting. But we have some books here, very nice. Oh, sweet. We're gonna be able to do that science mastery very easily now, that is amazing. We don't need it anymore once we can make actually enough mods. But maybe tablets are better, so you don't need to waste a mod slot. I'm not sure. And let's do the desk. Oh, yes, look at that. We have dice upon which I don't know what it's for. We have another blue card. The blue card we need for the other bunker. So I think in Alpha 18, we had a mix of green and blue doors in this bunker here, but I could be wrong. And in the final bunker, it's just all blue cards, I think. Okay, so let's unlock this. I think we're gonna get some nice, we get titanium from this, is it? Oh, what do we get? Forged steel. Oh, that is amazing. Okay, let's do that. Look at that beauty. We're gonna get some nice forged steel from that. That is amazing. And what we're gonna do then, once we actually finish with this and clear this out, we're gonna start it again, go back downstairs and just clear it out again. Oh, this is brilliant. What is that? A uh, Winchester rifle. Okay, let's repair it. I never took my experience boost. I just remember now. These lockers also give you a lot of... Um, resources so again you just take them apart and yes we get titanium the titanium lockers there we go we have our first titanium that is amazing <laughs> nice oh we get our first energy cell ammunition as well that is so sexy time right now there's one more out here in the hallway this one is empty 
That is really sweet. So we're gonna get into titanium and energy cells now. So hopefully we're gonna get a, a drop of a sword, laser sword. That would be absolutely amazing. There's just a toilet, nobody in here, and there's more lockers in here. Yeah, we're gonna have to go and deal with that screamer upstairs now in a minute. But I want to finish this here first, just in case she's gonna see me and we have a whole horde of dangerous stuff coming because don't forget, we're very close to the radiated biome. We're actually slightly in the radiated biome, which means whatever spawns from the screamer is gonna hurt like balls. Nice, we're gonna take that straight away. Oh, the recog range damage, yes! Oh, baby, that is gonna be exactly what we need when we get up there to that um, screamer. We're gonna be taking that the moment we get upstairs. Yeah, these guys here, we open up straight away because we can um, get the resources for them here and we throw out the sticks if we get any sticks and that's it. So let's just quickly demolish that. And then there's a few more down here and a few more desks as well. Nice, let's loot the desks first. Oh, yes. Oh, a red key card. That is amazing. We got a red key card now as well. Very sexy, loving it. And we got more recog. That is beautiful. Oh, yes. And we got the red notes as well. So now we have the white, the red, and the blue notes. If we get 10 of those red notes, we actually can unlock one of the tech. Oh, yes. One of the tech um, perks or perk trees. There we go, let's scrap this beautiful scrap loot. I'm gonna destroy them all in a second. I'm just gonna loot them all with you guys. Oh, that is amazing. Look at the loot we find, that is so sexy. Oh, ho, ho. Can we just uh, sell these? Uh, they're only 52, can we scrap them? What do they scrap into? Plastic, nice, very handy. Yes, that is all extremely amazing. There we go, beautiful. The Dizapan, I'm just gonna sell. Um, normal loot, we're still gonna try to pick it up as well. And um, this is very good for selling. This we're gonna keep. And we have another wonderful bag here. Oh, this is very good for selling. Nice, 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 nice. And anything else? Did we forget any desks here? I think there was one desk in the back here. There we go. Ah, oh, nice, we can sell that as well because we don't really need it. And then we have more lockers here. Storage box. And more lockers. More cards, very good, loving it. All right, let's see what we have in all these boxes left over. Beautiful. Construction. Yeah, that will sell for a pretty penny. Oh, that will sell for a lot, nice. Good money in these. Yeah, this one we don't really need. We can just sell that as well. Or we just make the paint out of it. We don't really need paint, to be honest. We can craft paint so easily. Um, I'm not going to take these guys with me. Uh, Stranger discovered from Travel Slick. Willie, what is that? That will do a pick challenge. Yeah, we might take them with us if we have enough room. Okay, that is steel leg armor. We should repair that. That is at 392. So let's see what that actually is worth once it's fully repaired. And in the meantime, let's open the safe. Oh, there we have some ammunition as well. Very nice. There we go. Okay, beautiful, we don't need that. Um, let's scrap all of these things here. And let's keep the ammunition, of course. All right, I'm gonna destroy everything here so you guys can see how much titanium we end up with and how much steel and so on. And then we're gonna do a second run of this when we trigger the actual quest. All right, everything has been disassembled. Let's see what we got. We got 157 forged steel. We have 197 titanium, which is amazing. And we can make forged titanium out of that with 20 titanium. So we nearly have 10 forged titanium already which is absolutely amazing. We can make like um, titanium arrowheads with it. Oh man, it's absolutely fantastic. How much do we need for that? Four only, oh wow. And we need that in the advanced forge with the crucial titanium crafting. When do we unlock that titanium crafting? Oh my balls, we can already unlock it. Are you kidding me? That is amazing. And we are level 100 exactly. That is so, balls to the walls amazing so we can now make arrowheads titanium 
<laughs> yes, baby. That is so sweet. Okay, here we go. Let's eat. Let's drink. And let's go upstairs and do some damage. Let's take that. And let's take that so we don't get infected. And let's take that for good drink. Okay, let's go. Okay, here we go, where's the, where's the screamer? There we go. Nice. Oh! Do you see that? We got fire demons now! <laughs> These guys spit fire! Are you kidding me? Okay, we can actually melee them. I think. Oh, no, 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 no! I'm on fire. That's not good. Let's drink something quick. Oh, wow. Okay, hang on a second. Hang on a second. You're gonna have to run, run, run. And take some first aid. Okay, good, good, good. Let's reload this before they get to me. These guys are hardcore. They actually spit fire. guys from the outpost are shooting at me what the actual hell these guys are hard oh whoa 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 dead wow whoa that is intense oh okay what do we have on drops oh yeah iron crossbow money 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 baby oh that is a lot of money sweet okay we're gonna be opening that let's throw that out Okay, that could have gone wrong many, many ways. Wow, and we're gonna do a second round of that. So I'm gonna drop all this off to the trader. I'm gonna sell this, put the rest into the trader's chest and our bike is full. So let's go and get the rest of the bags here. Okay, nothing too amazing. Oh, look at that, more to sell, that is sweet. Oh, ho, ho, a marksman rifle. Yeah, we're gonna sell that as well. And more bullets, that is amazing, thank you so much. Excellent. What do we have here? Okay, just some basic loot. We can throw that out, we get wood everywhere. Then the old ham sandwich, I don't think we necessarily need to keep that, but we'll see. And another blue card. Really sexy. Love it. All right, real quick, because we don't have much left in our buff. I had to sell everything off camera because this is just ridiculous, the noise of the trader. But we got Krampus Awesome Sauce that she had on her, so I have a couple of seconds on that left. So what I want to do is definitely get more 7. And they're starting again. Let's buy all the ammunition for the 762. Um, I don't know if I should go with armor penetration. There just isn't enough for it. So 7.62... There we go, we're just gonna buy all that as well. And now we definitely have enough ammunition f uh, going forward for the bunker again. All right, gun repaired. Everything reloaded, loads of ammunition. Recock, everything ready to go. We just had food, we had drink. That's it, let's go. And let's close it off. Let's go. Let's kneel down and see if we can actually approach very quietly. Okay, 
like they haven't spawned yet, which is good. So this is going to be more quickly. I'm not going to go through everything again. You just saw what is in here. So what we're really going to do is... Okay, it's actually the green cards. I completely forgot. What we're really going to do is... We're just going to plow through here now. And hopefully that's it. There we go. That's done. Oh, there's no zombies respawned here. Are you kidding me? Okay. Well... All right, that is a bit weird. Okay. I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> no siree. You're not gonna get a complaint from me on that one. That is absolutely fine if that's how you wanna roll. And we got our satchel. Boom, quest done, talk to a trader, and that's it. Okay, one of the loot highlights, you probably saw that we picked up these things here. They're called laser multi-tools. I believe in Alpha 18, there used to be tools that you put into a, in the laser workbench or something, and they were used as part of the laser workbench. But it seems that right now here, they're actually used in place of the ratchet, but it doesn't have a right or left click. You basically, if you right click, you repair, and if you left click, it disassembles. It's basically a mix between your nail gun and your uh, ratchet. That is amazing. So we can use that completely now for taking things apart. And it seems to be also much faster. Let's have a look. It does, oh yeah, it's much faster and it gets the same resources. We got loads of new uh, recipes. Actually, this one here is the electric timer relay, which I don't know yet, but I don't really need that. I'm gonna actually scrap it right now. And um, I think we can always unlock that anyway through perks. And these guys here we open up. There we go. Very nice. Nothing else that sticks out. Just we got another 187 uh, forged steel. We got another 190 titanium. And that's pretty much it. Also, I'm glad I didn't take the elixir and the recog until I was going to go downstairs. But there was no zombies, so there was no uh, need to take that. Let's actually see if we can hand this quest into Caitlin. Great job. We can. Nice. Okay, so um Recog. Oh, hang on a second. I think somebody was saying that actually in the comments. Let's not complete this for now. And let's see if we can do another point into... Is it barter? Better barter? It's actually under charismatic nature in the scavenger class. So if we're going to go here, get a 12% better deal buying and a 20% better deal selling. Get extra cukes for completing quests. Nice. And then any command. And now we can also get another uh, reward Great so job. now if we do it we should be able to select two rewards which is going to be amazing so whatever is worth the most money we can pick so we can sell it yes and then we're going to take that one for the extra money as well okay excellent now i don't want your jobs because you live in a very awful territory so let's just sell everything here there we go beautiful and we're going to sell this as well and the chainsaw and yeah that's it let's take all of that beautiful and hopefully we don't have to come back here to you if we find another eve that would be amazing because um yeah i don't like the eve where we at because she keeps picking this one probably as the bunker which is not something i want so we're gonna have a look at the snow biomes that are more down here and see if we can find another eve i will do that between episodes and then let you know if i found one but Next episode, we're probably going to focus on getting the tiers up. I'm going to do some tier quests as well in between. But that is definitely... We're going to go home now and going to see if we can unlock one of... Um, oh, we have 10 research nodes in total. That is amazing. So there we go. We can craft this now. And we can hopefully in the next episode unlock the laser technology, which would be really amazing. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, huge pass and happy gaming. All right, here's a bit of a surprise. 
And for anybody who has been sticking around to the end, you will love this. I think this is the final bunker location. Here we go, I found it. It is indeed. I destroyed all the tents and it was the last one. So if we look at this here, this is the entrance to the final bunker. I love it. This is absolutely amazing. So sexy. We're going to mark it right here on the map. Save wave point. And this here is going to be bunker two or main bunker. Excellent stuff. Love it. Oh, hello there, mister. Just stay kneeled down. Don't let them detect you. So we're gonna go home and we kind of come back here when we're ready to go back here but this is the main bunker for this we want to get full coil rifle layout probably laser weapons whatever we can get our hands on we want this is amazing i absolutely love it i'm looking really forward to this but it won't be happening for a couple of episodes because this is going to be hardcore <laughs>